Hello, my pretties. I'm here with the domestic geek, Sarah Lynn. And for some reason, I'm talking like this because Simply Share Share is not here today. And I am the zombie bride, Broomhilda. That's what she calls She's me. The zombie bride, Broomhilda, yeah. That's right. So, we are celebrating Halloween. It's our favorite holiday. And we are going to be doing three DIYs each. Your DIYs are pretty gross. I've seen oh, them. they sure are. Blood, guts, gore, all of my favorite parts of this amazing holiday. That's right. So after you finish watching my video, you have to head over to Sarah's channel and you will get equally as creeped out. It's not for the faint of heart. There should be a warning sign going across your screen saying, Beware. <laughs> These projects are going to be the most creepy, most frightening, most haunted projects you'll ever see on our channels. So if you've got a week's time... Sorry! Let's get started. And let the bloodbath begin! <laughs> I ain't sorry. sorry. I ain't, I ain't sorry. sorry. So for the first project, I want to use something cute and turn it really creepy, so I'm going to create the most awesome haunted dolls. There's nothing like getting dolls up for Halloween, is there? <laughs> <laughs> if I found this creepy doll in my toy box, I would not be happy. Here's what you'll need. A porcelain doll, a bag of blood, and don't worry, it's actually just sugar. Disposable gloves, a marker, spray blood, scissors, gauze, and a bunch of nasty rats. First step, mess up the doll's hair. Just use your fingers and make it really, really crazy. The messier, the better. Then take the marker and black out their eyes. You can draw tears as well, as you really want it to look like their eyeballs were removed and they're hollow and cavernous. Then it's time to add the blood splatter. Think of this as the Simply Share Share Kill Room. This is where you can get really creative. The bloodier, the better. Oh, sorry about that. Oh. Why not add a few blood clots? <laughs> as a fun little detail, take the blood bag and tuck it into the corner. Then cut a hole in the doll's dress and insert the tube and wrap gauze around the arm. And the last thing, decorate the platter with some fake rats, and dinner is served. And for my second project, I wanted to do something really creepy because of course I'm an interior designer, <laughs> right? Right? Right. But I have to make every space that I do really spooky. So we're going to do a haunted hallway. Do you need an extra hand, darling? Oh yes, I do. I take 12, please. This is so simple. And all you need are some 3M adhesive hooks, a knife, and a bunch of fake severed arms. I started out by using some painter's tape just to mark out the areas that I wanted to hang my arms. Attach the hooks onto the wall, and to get the best effect, stagger the heights, take your knife, and cut a slit on the end of the arm. And when you're ready, just hang them on the wall and turn the hand so that you can see the full silhouette. Turn off the overhead lights, and I just placed a little flashlight on the floor to create some really cool shadows. And your haunted hallway is ready for a zombie bride to walk through it. High five! <laughs> Think Picasso, but possessed. Picture perfect. <laughs> you know who you've become? <laughs> In this episode, you're totally the guy from Tales from the Crypt Keeper. You'll need an old piece of art from the thrift store. 
Make sure to look for a wood frame with a hard canvas, a styrofoam head, a super sharp knife, hot glue, white spray paint, and some fake spider webs. First step, cut the face off the styrofoam head. Now I've been waiting to do this all day. Glue the head in the center of the canvas. Then spray everything with white paint, including the frame, and allow to fully dry. Add some glue to the eyes, place the spider webs onto the glue, and then start to pull and stretch the spider webs around the canvas. Attach the frame again, and you're done. that all the DIYs are done, it's time for a weird montage. Because when Sarah Lynn and I get together for Halloween, we commit to the bit. Don't you like my weave? <laughs> and when you're done watching this video, make sure you head over to Sarah Lynn's channel, The Domestic Geek, because she has three equally nasty and disgusting projects. I mean, I've been here all day and they're disgusting. They're pretty gross. Um, and of course, gross. make sure to subscribe to both of our channels because they're pretty awesome. Actually, That's simply share, share. Care. We'll be back next week. When the zombie takeover is over. After I eat her head. Okay, cool. Sweet. And see. It's actually better because now I can have No, I can't. <laughs> Costume I can't. fail. Costume fail. Go. <laughs> <laughs>